Please, it's Katie with String Expert. So in the last video, we learned how to make our own handmade flashcards. Now, that's only half the battle. The other half of the battle is how do we effectively and the most quickly learn to play the violin and read notes with these flashcards. So what I recommend that you do is start out by picking one string, A string, D string, G string, E string, it doesn't matter which one, just pick the one that you feel the most comfortable with. So for me, I picked the A string because this is one of my favorite strings. And so I put all the flashcards for the A string on my music stand right in the middle. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to look at the first flashcard. And what I wanna do is I wanna determine, first of all, what the note name is, and second of all, how to play it. So I'm gonna take a look at the note name, and if I don't know what it is, I'm gonna count up the lines and the spaces from the note name that I do know until I can kind of figure out what the note name is. So I'm taking a look at this. I know that there's an open A space, and I'm gonna count up from the open A. I have a B, C, and then it's on the line, so I think that this is the note D. So then what we're gonna do is I'm going to put the violin up underneath my chin and I'm gonna play what I think the note should sound like, which is third finger on the A string. Now I'm gonna double check to make sure that I was right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my flashcard and flip it over. And on the back side we wrote A3, so it has the fingering and the note name D. So I got that one right. So if I get my note name right, I'm going to put it in one pile over here. If I get the note name wrong, I'm going to put it in another pile over here. And I'm gonna go through all of the flashcards that I'm trying to currently learn, which is all the flashcards on the A string, until I have a pile here of all the flashcards that I know and all the flashcards that I don't know. Now, the flashcards that I don't know, I'm going to go through again carefully to make sure that I have the right notes. The flashcards that I do know, I'm not gonna waste my time on because I already know them, so they just stay there. So then I go through and I take the pile of the ones that I don't know, we're gonna put it back into the center pile here and I'm gonna continue to work on those until I get the pile completely done. So for example, if I started out here and then I had a few flashcards over here and the rest were all flashcards that I knew over here, great. Then I would take this stack of flashcards that I didn't know, put them back in the center here and continue to work. So if I get them right, I'm gonna put them over here. If I get them wrong, I'm going to put them over here until I get done with that session. So when I get done, let's say I have two that I got wrong and the rest of them I got right, I take the two that I got wrong, put them in the center here and continue on until I have all the flashcards learned. Now, start out slow. So I recommend doing one string at a time. Learn all the notes for the D string. Learn all those notes for the A string, the G string, the E string. It doesn't matter which one you start, but just pick one. And then slowly add on to that. So once you feel like you have them all learned, then take two of the strings and put them together and work on the flashcards for those two strings. Then add a third one in and a fourth one in until you know all of them perfectly. Now, the students that do this game learn to read music and are able to recognize, understand, and read notes within a week. The students that play apps, which are still really fun and I, wouldn't rec I would recommend that you do them, um, but the students that really do these flashcards just seem to have the best possible learning curve in terms of the amount of information and how quickly they learn them.